last day in Israel for this time in Tel Aviv. Some reflections. We've also met with uh, Aviv Tzidon. Aviv Tzidon was also generous enough to take us to uh, the fly box. I'm scared to death. Well, as taking Oysten out in the acrobatic plane. This new piece was actually an initiative from the Royal Flemish Philharmonic in Antwerp. They had this idea that as a composer you pick one piece of your, which is your favorite and then combine it with writing your own piece. So this piece will be inspired by the writer's spring. It will have the same length and almost the same uh, instrumentation. It's very, very exciting. It's uh, one of my biggest challenges as a composer, I must say. I'm on my way to the first recording day of the Petterson 7th Symphony. Uh, with North Shipping Symphony, we are going to do this piece on tour throughout Europe in uh, May, June 2018. Of course, the musicians were felt offended. And so basically there was a kind of resistance to, to Petterson in Sweden for a long time. I would say it might even still be there. What people say is, is it's a very dark music and it's a very, it's, it's a very, very uh, um, introvert music. Regarding the Seventh Symphony, it's, it somehow is, but it has a lot of gloomy light in it that, that carries through the symphony and, and it has a fantastic moments that open up. I think the seventh symphony is much more positive than I would <laughs> that I, 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 I sort of expected not knowing it. So I think the audience really should hear this wonderful composer.